you have undoubtedly heard that sales, building an enterprise, or being an entrepreneur is all about ABC, the standard always be closing. It actually needs to be thought differently. And Omar and his team went through this the other day. So Omar, what is ABC today? Because it's not always be closing. Well, what's crazy is that we just talked about this yesterday. It's always be connecting and always be connecting with people, with new relationships, because if you connect with more people, guess what ends up happening? You'll end up closing more. Granted, yes, you still have to understand psychology. You still have to close your conversation. But how, how much easier is it to close a conversation if you connect with them? If you connect, if you truly find out you know, what their their pain points are, where they're moving from pain towards pleasure, and especially in sales with, you know, sellers that we want to buy houses from or we want to list or we want to, you know, at least help them get through the process or maybe even hire or retain someone to give us some money for new investments. I mean, you have to connect. It's it, always be connecting. I love that because... And this is coming from a sales guy, right? I've had a quota since I was 15 years old. And you can get lost in your head, always be closing. Uh, I've been pretty clear with folks. One of my biggest mistakes is I didn't, I wasn't connecting for the first five years. I lived in this spreadsheet. I thought I could build a better mousetrap. My business didn't take off until I started networking or connect connecting. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really funny when I look back at 2020 and 2021, and everything I got done that was meaningful was a connection, right? Whether it was acquisitions because of people knew my buy box, whether it was refinancing debt at, you know, sub 4%, whether it was, um, you know, taking equity out. It's, it's Folks, one of the seven rules of ORAT is you got to meet two new people a week. If you're a baller like Omar, you should double that. You should try to meet four more. And I'm telling you, Omar's been doing this for 20 freaking years. Think about how many people you could meet over the course of a year, two, that's 100 people. And you do that for 20 years, that's 2,000 people. Uh, you've got to be connecting. That's They help you, they motivate you. Uh, the other thing I think about this always be connecting is my circle of friends, Omar, like my closest friends today, I didn't know them three years ago. Think about that, right? You've always got to be evolving and connecting. I love this idea. I love this ABC, always be connecting. Yeah, and you know what, to, to to push on it or to add a little bit more flavor to it, um, you know, with, and, and, it, and it's crazy, it happens, and it happens when you least expect it. Um, you know, everybody knows I'm in real estate, everybody knows I represent buyers and sellers, right? But other agents know that, hey, I let them know, hey, can you please um, let me know anybody that you know in our area that will help, I'll give you a 25% referral fee. Right. Yeah. The regular retail side. Well, that ended up happening. And guess what? Like I met with the seller. I got introduced from, you know, like literally a, a buddy of mine from a different area gave me this opportunity to at least talk to this seller. And I listed their lot, which wasn't a big deal. Right. But it's a it's a big deal because I'm helping their situation. But right. the best part was is that this individual um, I connected with, I spoke to, not just for the listing, but to truly connect with this person. And guess what I find out? He has a crap load of money <laughs> sitting in a bank account. And he's asking me, what should I do to deploy it? And I said, okay, perfect. Guess what? This is what we do. And you're now going to be one of our newest investors that I'm going to pay you 10 or 12% on. So you can help us buy more property. And you're going to get a great return when he was used to getting a 3% return on his money. Mm -hmm. And he has half a million bucks. And it's crazy because I figured out, not even figured out, just understanding that always be connecting does truly like create bigger relationships down the way. Mm -hmm. But you have to go through this. You have to go through the small ones and you have to go through the ones that do not like there's no there's no um, guarantee that something's going to happen. And by the way, Michael, this was a 730 phone call from an agent at, mm. on a Friday night. 
on a Friday night at 7.30 p.m. I'm having dinner and I answered the phone because guess what? You just never know. I was like, yeah, what is, you know, what's this person want? I'm going to answer the phone. And good thing I did because, because I connected led me to this new relationship. Yeah, folks, I don't know who needs to hear this, but real estate investing is a people business. Never, ever forget that. Always be connecting, 100%. always meet new people, always tell everybody what you're doing, tell everybody your buy box. You will never know what conversation will lead to a deal, what conversation will lead to private money, what conversation will lead to a new best friend. It is all out there for you, folks. So ABC, always be connecting. Omar, where can people find you? Guys, follow me on IG at Invest with Omar, and I will see you guys next time for sure. There you go, buddy. Take care. Thanks.